Valentine's Day marked two years since the shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida, where a gunman killed 17 people and injured 17 more. Survivors, parents, and advocates are marking the anniversary with a gathering at the U.S. Capitol. As Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer reports, some of the Parkland families and some members of Congress say the federal government needs to do more. Parkland families are in Washington, D.C., hoping for a change. I need to be in an iconic place uh, to send the right message. Manny Oliver lost his son on February 14, 2018, when a gunman opened fire at a Parkland, Florida high school, killing 17 people. Alea Eastman was inside the school at the time. Now she's a college student in D.C. advocating for stronger gun regulation. Demanding congressional change for gun violence prevention um, with people that can relate to my pain is very important to me. Students and families from Parkland are here in Washington looking for answers. They're sharing this newspaper with all the shootings that have happened since that day now two years ago. This week, the Trump administration launched schoolsafety.gov, a website of government-wide resources for schools to prepare for threats. Do you feel like the website's enough to address gun violence? No, no single thing is enough. I think the issue here is violence. Florida Senator Marco Rubio says Congress is taking multiple steps to make a difference, but he doesn't back every proposed solution. I know it sounds good when people hear it, but it really wouldn't make a difference. I'm focused on things that will make a difference. The bipartisan background checks bill passed the House last year. Alabama Senator Doug Jones thinks the bill would pass if it came to the Senate floor. I think everybody uh, supports that overwhelmingly, but I don't see it happening. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell hasn't signaled any plans to allow a vote on the bill. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer.